American Medical Overseas Relief, AMOR, improving the health status of the communities we serve. Following nearly four years of work in Afghanistan, in 2008, AMOR was established in Fresno, California as a donor-supported 501c3 nonprofit organization. All donations to AMOR are tax-deductible. AMOR's mission is to provide health care to those people in impoverished areas who cannot provide for themselves, in particular women of childbearing age and children under five, thereby positively impacting the community. AMOR provides support, funding, and oversight to help local residents develop and operate medical facilities that meet the unique needs of their communities. What distinguishes Amor from other non-governmental organizations, or NGOs, is that we not only meet the immediate needs of the community in the countries we serve, but we introduce current internationally accepted standards of care. Most importantly, we strive for self-sustainability, meaning that we want the organization we create to be able to sustain itself. In 2004, Afghanistan was chosen as the first location in which to serve because, according to the World Health Organization, it had some of the worst health indicators in the history of the world. Afghanistan is one of the world's oldest civilizations, dating back to about 3000 BC. Military campaigns in the area date from Alexander the Great to present day. Today, Afghanistan is one of the least developed countries in the world. World Health Organization statistics show the average lifespan of an Afghan woman as 50 years, compared to 71 globally and 80 in the U.S. Afghanistan has an incredibly high fertility rate, averaging over six children born per woman. Unfortunately, more than 85% of Afghan women deliver their babies without skilled medical help, which means outside of a hospital setting. In 2005, almost one quarter of children in Afghanistan died before the age of five due to preventable and treatable diseases. By 2011, the number was reduced to a still alarming 20%. Afghanistan has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the world. In 2002, nearly one in five women died due to a complication related to pregnancy. That number has been improved to one in seven women as of 2012, still an extremely disturbing number for a natural process. It is reported that 80 to 90 percent of Afghan women cannot read or write, making health education a challenge, one that Amor is approaching and slowly making a difference. Due to these shockingly grave statistics, Plans were made in 2004 to build a hospital and address these issues. Land was acquired in the Afshar district of southwest Kabul, near Darulaman Palace. The location was chosen in order to serve the outlying communities lacking access to health care while minimizing security concerns. At the time, the location was 10 minutes outside of Kabul and was going to be the lone building. In 2005, Construction began on a 100-bed hospital in collaboration and coordination with local leaders and the Afghan government. It wasn't easy. There were roadblocks. In an area that has seen great upheaval in recent years, inherent problems had to be overcome, like getting the first medical shipment into the area, which took six months. Afghans' preconceived and usually misinformed prejudices had to be overcome as well, like a worker fearing he'd be shot if he didn't complete his work properly. Establishing trust by working side by side with Afghans proved to the local community how dedicated Amor is to helping. Misconceptions quickly began changing and people's lives began changing. Amor accomplished what they were told could not be done and without engaging in bribes. Clean financial audits by firms like Ernst & Young, an internationally accepted accounting firm, prove this track record. So, Afshar Hospital opened in April 2009 as a 100-bed, $4 million facility with outpatient, 
urgent care and hospital services in a 40,000 square foot facility with round-the-clock security. From a vacant lot has grown a hospital and the area surrounding it has experienced unprecedented growth with new shops, a mosque, TV station and a market. A community has been created around the hospital. The first month Afshar Hospital opened in 2009, it treated over 700 patients. Now, it treats an average of 3,500 a month. Two-thirds of patients are women and children, the focal point of Amor's efforts. Afshar Hospital sees patients with illnesses and injuries any American hospital would see, and rarely sees injuries resulting from acts of terrorism or war. Afshar Hospital sees all individuals, regardless of religion, ethnicity, or gender. The same is true for staff. All individuals are considered for employment based on their qualifications, without regard to ethnicity, cultural background, religious affiliation, or gender. Even though it is difficult for women in Afghanistan to receive an education, Afshar Hospital has actively sought women for employment in all areas of the hospital. One area of particular sensitivity is a cultural norm that states male doctors do not treat female patients. We are pleased that we have been able to find qualified female physicians and staff to help overcome this challenge at Afshar Hospital. Amor's healthcare model is designed to improve the health of women and children in the project areas while strengthening local health systems, collaborating with the Afghan Ministry of Public Health and other major players in Afghanistan. Amor's healthcare model meets the current and future needs of its regional population by still growing into its space, readying a neonatal nursery and opening more inpatient rooms. It offers outpatient as well as inpatient care, surgical, maternity and pediatric services, radiology and laboratory departments, urgent care, and the pharmacy. Amor is building a strong local healthcare system. Employing the model of community and primary care medicine, local health care issues are identified. Early intervention and preventive measures are instituted to help people as quickly as possible. Attempting to improve the health of the local communities, Amor supports five small clinics that care for women and children in outlying communities. COPE. Community outreach and patient education reaches over 1,000 patients per month, women and their children, through rotating clinics out of the homes of community leaders. Established at the end of 2009, these clinics are offered throughout the city of Kabul's poorest areas, where women are often prohibited from seeking health care. In the fall of 2012, Amor was in the process of opening a multi-room clinic at the Ashiana School. It will serve 7,000 registered street children and their families throughout the Kabul area. Amor dedicates itself to continuous physician, nurse, midwife, and staff education and training in an effort to raise the standard and quality of care, not only in the hospital, but wherever possible. In fact, it could be argued that this is the real value of what Amor is creating. Through organizations who support this vision, like AmeriCares, Cooper Surgical, Abbott Pharmaceuticals, and Granville Homes, to name a few. And thanks to donors like you, Amor's healthcare facilities in Afghanistan are on their way to being self-sustainable. With additional donations, Amor can fulfill its mission of improving the health status of the communities that we serve. Amor's medical facilities currently treat thousands of Afghans throughout the Kabul region and we're looking to expand into other underserved areas of the world. Administrative oversight, accounting diligence, with appropriate medical care, unmotivated by profit, Amor creates an environment whereby a relatively small amount of money can have an extremely large impact. Amor is changing people's lives and their communities, now and in the future, for the better. <laughs>